Hey, hi, hello everyone. I'm Naval Yamil. Welcome back to my channel, Data Master. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on what you can expect from my YouTube channel. I'm very much passionate about helping people to make their career into data engineering with Databricks. And I have made a complete playlist on the Databricks certification preparation and data engineering with the Microsoft Fabric. So I started a playlist creating all the fabric experiences and you can explore them in this playlist. And also I help people to get, get their career started with the Databricks. There are some interview playlist and complete Databricks playlist with the PySpark one, Big Data and Databricks certification preparation, Databricks SQL, Databricks Unity catalog and so on. And I also help people to make their career into data analytics by using Power BI and data science and machine learning using Azure OpenAI and so on. So feel free to visit my YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description guys. You can just check it. And if you have not subscribed, I request you to please subscribe to my channel and you can just press the bell icon. So when I release a new video, you can just check out those and you can be updated with my channel. So let us proceed further with the same playlist on what I was talking about Microsoft Fabric. So in this video, I'm going to explore much on the Microsoft Fabric. I have made four videos on this, starting with introduction to Microsoft Fabric. So the last video was on the Lakehouse tutorial. So how you can create a Lakehouse, how you can ingest a sample data and build a report. We have done that in the part one of the Lakehouse tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to take the second part of the Lakehouse tutorial. So for that, I'll just go to the Google and you can just type for the Microsoft Fabric documentation. And here you can see that I'm helping people to get this documentation and I'm doing the complete hands-on so that they get a clear understanding on the hands-on. So developing an end-to-end tutorial in the Microsoft Fabric. So let me click on it. And you can see here when it comes to end-to-end -end tutorials, so we have a multi-experience tutorial. I have explained all these experiences in my previous video. You can just go back and check. So now we are looking into the tutorials of the lake house. So once I click on the lake house and here in the last video, I have explained about the building a lake house. So I have explained how you can build a lake house and how you can ingest a sample data and build a report. In this video, I'm going to explain you about the ingesting the data into the lake house. And the prerequisites are you must have a lake house. If you have not created, you can create it. So we first ingest the data and we should have a minimum uh, workspace and inside the workspace, we are going to create a data pipeline. So in the data pipeline, we're going to use an activity called a copy data. So if you are familiar with Azure Data Factory, the tutorial would be really very simple. But if you are not, you can just watch the video guys. It will be really simple. So here we are going to use one activity called a copy activity. So we're going to copy the data from your source to the destination. Remember our destination is our lake house. So in a simple words, lake house is nothing but it's a combination of your data lake and your data warehouse. It acts like a data warehouse and your lake, uh, data lake. So you can store all structure, semi-structure, unstructured data here. And if it is a table, you can start querying it and so on. So we're going to use a copy activity data. We are going to set up the source and the destination. So in this tutorial, we are going to take a source from the external data. So we have a Azure blob storage. And Microsoft is giving a sample data which they have kept it into this account and they have a sample connection name and so on. And once we have set up a connection, we will be uh, extracting the data from this source into the lake house. So when we are proceeding, we need to provide uh, we need to provide the container name and we need to provide a directory name. So all our raw data is inside this folder, inside this container. And we are going to just extract it. I'm not going to show you the container and the file path. I'm just pulling out the sample data from the Microsoft. I'm going to do the same thing, whatever is there inside this documentation. And then I'm going to choose the destination. In the destination tab, I'm going to choose the lake house and the lake house what we have already created in the previous session. And I'm going to run this and I'm going to check whether my source data has been copied into my lake house. So without wasting much time, let us jump on to do the hands on now. So here is my Microsoft Fabric account and here my workspace name is Data Master. So now I have a source data in my data lake or you can just call it as a blob storage. I'm going to extract that. I'm going to ingest that data into the lake house. So there are many ways how you can ingest the data. You can do it by using a pipeline. You can use a notebook. 
and so on but i'm going to explain you in the coming sessions like which uh, like which one to choose so depending on the use case it differs but now we are going to see that we are going to ingest the data using a pipeline so you can see here in data engineering you can create a notebook you can create a lake house and so on and in the previous session we have seen about the data flow gen 2 if you have not watched i request you to please go back and watch that so i'll just click on the data pipeline yeah so now it is asking me the pipeline name so i'm going to refer the same documentation of the microsoft fabric here let me go back and i'm going to take the first step here on the first step as the uh, data pipeline and in that i'm going to use the copy data activity and so on so let me just go back and give a pipeline name so this is an ingesting the data ingesting into lake house into lake house okay let me just click on create yeah. i've created a pipeline with a name called ingesting into the lake house and here we can start with a pipeline activity and there are some other ways also where you can move your data or copy the data into the lake house so first we're going to look at the pipeline activity let me just click on this and once i click on the pipeline activity it is asking me to choose any of the activity so let me choose the copy data activity from here and here it's same like your adf user experience here you can see the ui it looks similar to your adf if you are not familiar i'll just show you copy data as a name itself indicates you can copy the data from your source to the destination you have different tabs here so when you click on this activity you get different tabs when you click outside the activity you get a different tabs so these are like when you want to pass a parameters variables settings and output so maybe the details about this i'll be explaining it in the later sessions now let us keep it simple when i click on this activity i need to provide some details here first one is name so by default it has taken the copy data one as a name so i'll give a good name here data copy to lake house so i'm copying my source data to the lake house and when it comes to the source so your source you can select it from the uh, like the workspace or you can select it from your warehouse and so on but now my source is external so when you click on the external and you can see that when i click on the new you get various connections here from where you can bring the data into the lake house so let me just go to the connection and you can see there are so many sources you can connect the data starting with your amazon rds your s3 your azure blob and your azure adls from your google bigquery database and your mongodb nosql and if you are having a rest apis and jdbc odbc connectors and all those things guys you can check that so now uh, we have a different connections also you can make it with the azure with the databases with your files uh, and so on now we are going to pull the, all our data from our blob storage so let me just click on the blob storage and click on continue and once you click on continue it will ask you a few details like your connection uh, settings first one is your account name or the url so i need to provide the url now so i do not have any uh, azure storage account so what i'll do i'll just take up the same url name what our microsoft is giving us as a sample data so let me just copy it from here and paste it here okay so once i paste it it will automatically pick up the connection name and you can check it here just click on okay now once you are done you can check the test connection you can just click on the test connection and after the test connection it is asking you to provide the file path name starting with your container name directory name and the file name so if you just go back to the documentation again you can see the container name is here you can just take the container name and also you can take a directory name from here so let me just copy the container name here and let me take the directory name from here and paste it here and you can see here you got a successful message also that your connection is valid and it is succeeded so we have just provided the file path and we have provided the directory also and let us keep it as a file format as binary and so on so this is all about the settings we required in the source now let us switch to the destination so once i switch to the destination it is asking me to select the connection so i'll definitely choose my workspace because i want to 
ingest my data into the workspace. So just click on the workspace and it will ask you to select it like your workspace as a lake house or the warehouse. But let me keep it as a lake house and it will ask me which way lake house do you want. So I'll just I have created this lake house in the previous session. I'll select that lake house and I'm all done. So I have I have selected the source. So I'm ingesting the data from this blob to the destination into my lake house. And now time to run this or time to validate it. Let us first validate it and pull it. Now it is showing us an error like we haven't given any root folder here. So now it, we are talking about the copying a raw data. So let us take it as a files here. So I want it as a files and it is now asking me where do you want to store it. So I'll just write it like WWI as a raw data and it is asking me the file name. I'll just keep it blank and I'll choose the file format as a binary. And now let me check whether it validates or not. And once I click on the validate, it says that your pipeline has been validated and there is no error. So now we have given all the source data. We have given all the target data. Now time to run this pipeline. So let me run this pipeline for that. I need to save it and then run it. Yeah, you can see here my pipeline has been successfully uh, completed and you can see the message here. It's got succeeded and you can see a pipeline activity output here showing that your data has been copied from your source to the target. You can check the input here and check the output and you can just click on this to find out the details that your data has been copied from your source to the destination and it has uh, taken like 57 seconds to do that and there were 106 files and 920 MB so you can just think in 57 seconds your data of 920 MB has been written to the 920 MB in the lake house from the blob so let me just go back to my data master workspace and let me go back to my lake house and in the lake house you can see here I'll just verify whether I got a new folder yeah I got a new folder in the files WWI raw data and inside this I should have all my raw data that been copied from my data lake or from the source to the destination that's all for this video guys thank you for watching so if you like the content please do subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you again. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.